Outdoor lovers have a new way to spend the night at three of Minnesota state parks. It has a feel of a tent, but the comfort of a cabin, and it is called a yurt. The Department of Natural Resources has built seven of the Mongolian style yurts that can be reserved for overnight stays beginning next month. And as Bill Hudson explains, they offer a camping out experience without sleeping on the ground. The little shelter here when you come inside. Welcome to this new way to experience a night in the woods, a structure that's part cabin, part tent. They've been around for, for centuries. Afton State Park is home to what's called a yurt, a round fabric covered structure native to nomadic tribes in Mongolia. They were designed to be put up and taken down as those tribes move herds across the Gobi Desert. But the DNR's Peter Hark says these will stay in place. You're a little bit more feeling like you're, you can hear the rain on the top of these things. Um, you can see the snow coming down. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's a place out of those elements. Seven of these yurts will soon be reservable for around $50 a night, just like a cabin or a campsite. With wood floors and bunk beds, they're a step up from a tent. Camper Rod Goodmanson can't wait to reserve one. We're waiting for them to get done so we can try them out. There's, there's no question. I think they're beautiful. We snuck over there and looked through the windows. The yurts are furnished with a card table and couch, rocking chair, and wood stove. This is a vent that, uh, that cracks open about six inches. All the comforts of home in this yurt in the woods. In each of these settings, there's just quite a diversity of stuff you can do during the day. So it's kind of play hard during the day and have a little bit of comfort at night, and, and that's what these offer. Besides the two yurts at Afton State Park, there are five others, two at Cuyuna Country Re Recreation Area near Crosby and three at Glendalow State Park and Battle Lake. Uh, quite different from my experience at the BWCA. You'd I like a yurt, wouldn't you? I would like a yurt. Did you see those beds in there? A uh, yurt might be a pretty good option for this top 10 weather day. Yeah.